Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today I will show you how to uh, calculate the delay and the, the power or energy consumption in any circuit using cables. So now I can show you that uh, I'm having uh, this inverter, so I'm applying uh, square wave in the input and I'm measuring the output. So in here, I want to uh, calculate the delay between the input to the output and the energy uh, consumption per operation. So let's draw the, the circuit I'm applying now. I'm operation. I'm uh, I'm running the the circuit. Let's plot it. Configure. Configure it from here. And now we have these two. Let's make it like solid. And so now, so we have this the input and the output. Let's put it. Let's put it on top of each other. Okay. Let's calculate uh, here. Well, at six. So this is the input and this is the output, and there is a delay between uh, when it when it is switching uh, from one to zero, the output switch from zero to one. You can calculate the, the delay from 50% of the input signal to 50% of the output, or if, if, if it's another circuit, you can have it 90%, but let's now do it to uh, 50 to 50. So you can go here 500, then press A, then you can here go to around 500 millivolt, press B, so this is the easy and faster way, but it's not accurate. So now you can see that the DX, the, the delay is eight picosecond here. So this is like faster way. We can do it using the equation. We can go back, we, we can go here and output setup. Then here function, which is this one. Write the things that you will do, which is delay, let's name it delay. And here you can put the equation. Double click on this and you have these two things that now and this dot, you can press in dot. This is the previous thing, so let me delete it. Let me delete it as thing. Now we need to calculate the delay from the input to the output. You can press VT, voltage transient, take this N, the input. So now you can see VT, Bracket then and press here, then enter to just to save it. Go again, and now we need the output. So we have uh, the D input and the output. Enter to save it. Now, if you go down here, the all, you can find delay. If you look up here, you can find delay or faster way you can write it here, D, lay, so you can find it here. Now, the first signal, which is the, the we need the inputs. You can, because we make it here, like we press enter, so we save here. So we have two signal, so let's have input. And for the signal to output, which is the output we need to measure. Here the input is, uh, 0 0.5, this is like 50% of the signal. So we have one volt, so that's mean from 500 millivolt and here to uh, 500 millivolt. You can change it to nine, it depends about the, but nine is 90% of the signal. If you have two, that means 1.8. So here we will keep it 50%, which is 0 0.5. Edge number, uh, leave it at one. So it will just, just one time. Uh, here, let's see, rise and go for the first signal. So this, Signal is falling, so let's say falling. Let's measure it. Uh, edge type. Let's make the first one is falling. The second one is is rising. So here we write rising. Or a ether. You can leave it as ether. So the first signal after this, it will it will uh, uh, it will measure. It. Let's say rising for this case. Adversity, uh, is one, 
tolerance is one zero. Uh, here, so, uh, number of occurrence signal is here. We need to measure it from where to where. Let's say, let's say from six here from six to let's say how much is this? Yeah. Let's make it from 5.5 here to 6.5. And you can change it depending on what you set it here. You say 5.5. This is signal one. And this is signal two. This is the input and the output. More both of them start from 5.5. And we make it stop at 6.5. Okay. Here we have time trigger. We just we use time because here we specify a time. Now let's say apply. So we have this equation. Minimize this. Go to the original, and you find this now. Just press on it, and it will bring the equation from the calculator to here. Okay, let's go back. This this to refresh it. So it give me eight point six eight. Now once you run, you have the number direct. Let's check it exactly with here. It is like 8.72, which is close to this, 8.6. Actually, you can make it uh, more reasonable if you can go, I mean, more accurate. You can go here, right click, left point. You can here make it uh, to be, what is it? It's, yeah, make it uh, to be uh, Y. This is make it five, 500, 500 little volts, exactly. And here, the same thing. This we can have it uh, as a more accurate, 500. So now it is 8.68, let's see the other one. Eight, so the same uh, result. Now let's go to the energy. We can do the same thing, energy. Right energy. Right, press the dot. Let's delete this. Let's delete all. Now, in the energy, we need the 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 VDD that supply the the circuit, which is this one. All the VDD coming from here, which is one volt. Just enter and just the I at uh, the current IT is the current transient. You get this for the V, the, the voltage you can uh, choose the, the wire. For the uh, current, we need to choose the node. So the, here's the node. Let's press on it. So it gives me I. Wait. Let's multiply. So the, you know the power is I multiplied by V. So is this correct? No, this no plus. Okay, now V multiplied by I. Then uh, we need to get the integration of this to 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 see the the energy bear uh, operation. Let's, let's go back to the, the original. So now uh, here, if we can. If I want to accelerate it, we don't want this anymore. Okay, let's calculate the the energy is just for this time, this clock. So one clock. So in here, <coughs> it is between zero point four. I mean four uh, nanometer to eight nanometer. Or, or we can have it up to here, like two cycle, then you divide it by two. Or you can do it three cycle divided by three to have more accuracy. But uh, in this circuit, because it's a simple inverter, it, the output is the same, there is no change. So let's take this, let's do it just for uh, one uh, one cycle. How we, how can we do it? We can go, go back to uh, clear this. 
can go to the, our circuits here, and then we go to the calculator. Here we need to find the integration. The integration, you can find it or write it. And this one. Okay, we need to integrate this from uh, initial value, which is, we said, 4 nano, and the final value, 8 nano. This is 4 nano, and this is 8 nano. Then apply. Okay. Minimize this here. We go here. Then if it gives you error, that means it needs to be rerun because if you have the current or voltage, it should be before you run the circuit. So rerun it again. Then you can see the energy, which is five, or is 405 antifarad. Uh, their operation, their one operation. So this is the energy. Okay, I think this is all uh, simple. You can do it, guys, in uh, your converter, in any circuit uh, you want uh, to use. And thank you and good luck.